What is up guys, it is your boy Blank Dot here with this video. Today I am going to be showing you guys how I actually made my own Wi-Fi pineapple. And yeah guys, before I get into the video, please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel. That, as that would always help me out. And please do try to leave a small amount of a donation down to my PayPal link down below because that would really obviously help my channel grow. And yeah guys, um, I could be able to fund the channel and buy more things and do more videos for you guys. So please do that if you guys can. Thank you so much for watching and here's the video. So guys, I had built a Wi-Fi Pineapple Nano for the minimum bare price of only £25. And I'm gonna show you guys how it looks and what I did to it and talk you through the process. But unfortunately, I cannot share you the links on YouTube or um, but I would be trying to leave them in a website that I made below and yeah guys I'll leave all the instructions and links below there but on YouTube I can't really show you how to flash or anything because I may get copyright striked or I could get me um, get like YouTube strikes on my account and I may get like sued so I don't want that to happen so yeah um, all of this goes to basically hack 5 like I'm not a um, against this I won't condemn this this is just an experiment that I did. Um, I would obviously um, well, go um, tell you guys to go ahead and buy the real gadget itself, the Wi-Fi pineapple, but I do not really want to condemn this. So with the video, um, I had got this on Amazon for a price of £25. This is the GLNA AR150, and as you guys can see, I had purchased this and um, I had Prime and yeah so basically that's what I got and I will show you guys um, it right now so this is the box that it actually arrived in so inside I've already opened this and flashed the final one so I'm just going to show you how it looks to you guys so after opening it you will be pres um, presented with a let's get started manual and with that you'll be getting a flat using a cable a micro usb cable a really small antenna and the wi-fi router itself so all our usb is just screw on the lower antenna and then um, you've got your mini pineapple ladder so, um, to make this fully, fully work, what you'll need is um, a lot of um, free things to buy. They don't cost much, so this price won't go up any more than 30 quid. So basically all you need is a wire adapter, so one USB port to split it up into two. And then from that you'll need two uh, Wi-Fi, uh, yeah. You'll need two, what's it called again, Wi-Fi um, cards, so I'll show you guys, so it's like a Wi-Fi dongle. So I would suggest you guys going for the R, um, something like that, the model. Uh, I'll try to basically leave, I'll try to find the model. So what you guys do need is this USB Wi-Fi adapter. You could search on eBay and get this a bit more cheaper, I think I saw one for £3.50 or something like that. So you do need two of these. This has a uh, good antenna and it's quite small, so it would just, what I would usually do is I would stick them on top of the mini uh, router itself and to connect that is you would need this thing, basically it's a USB 2.0A to uh, two female adapters, so basically what happens is it's just, just this, basically Basically this plugs into this USB port and it converts it to two USB ports because we really need two of these to get the more, I think what's frequency or something like that, I'm not too sure guys. So what would happen is you would plug that side into here and then what I would do is I would usually use um, Gorilla Tape, double sided sticky tape to stick those two down here and I will have one USB um, Wi-Fi adapter to go here this way and one to go this way. So that would make it, yeah, basically you would have like that. So to make it fully work, you will need those. And yeah guys, so you need that. 
and more about this so basically how I got this to work is uh, I went on github and there was a bin file actually made for this model because of the chipset in here because it's really similar to the Wi-Fi um, Pineapple Nano so because it uses a similar chipset it was basically compatible to basically do it basically all it needed was a, a few tweaks so the developers that actually done that they did it and um, they posted it on GitHub this is by a third party someone else definitely not by the Wi-Fi Pineapple Group so yeah all I needed to do is flash it onto here all you need to do is plug it into the LAN port, plug uh, the power and hold down the reset button for 5 blinking lights and you release it and then you will go and it to the IP address given on the let's get started booklet and basically just drag and drop that in file. After you've done that you just need to go for the setup for this and you will have it working. So yeah, so let me guys um, you a quick example but I am not going to show you how I did it right well, that's all I'm saying to you guys I don't want to risk anything so what I'm going to do is quickly uh, hook it up to my uh, Raspberry Pi and yeah guys I'll just be so yeah guys now I'm back after actually um, VN um, basically VNC viewing into my Raspberry Pi from my laptop so I'm just guys going to show you, I do need to change the resolution of my Raspberry Pi for the VNT viewer but for now it doesn't matter so I'm going to guys show you how um, uh, you set it up basically so all you need to do is connect the power to the Raspberry, um, not the Raspberry Pi sorry the uh, mini wire character, sorry about that guys I need to actually reach to plug it in so, once I've plugged it in, you need to get the Ethernet and plug it into the one port, not the LAN port. Don't get mixed up. The WAN, WAN port. And then plug it straight into the Raspberry Pi. So now, all I actually need to do is before starting this up, uh, so I've got the Ethernet well recognised, so all I need to now do is go to terminal. And now I just need to run the Pine script that I've got. So this is a bash script. Sorry about that guys, I can't do anything about that right now. So this and what you want me to do is dot slash pine. And this would basically do its thing of configuring the MAC address to uh, the WP6SH file. So what that does is actually configure Wi-Fi so you can connect via Wi-Fi through this. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and type in the MAC address for this. So this is the only problem with it, this is the only hassle to be honest. What um, I mean is this, because with the real one you don't need to do it, that's why I actually prefer you guys go and buy the real one, but if you guys are on a tight budget like me and um, have the time to actually research and experiment, go ahead and do this. But I mean, not I would not take responsibility for any of your actions. Unfortunately, yes, I did say unfortunately. So I am a lot of people stay. So after you type your map address, all of you need to do. I need to do is dot slash WP there we go so what I'm going to do is click the manual setup 
and as you guys can see my uh, it th basically recognizes it as a Wi-Fi pineapple and uh, it says to select the Wi-Fi pineapple interface I wouldn't usually go for the guided setup because that messes it up so I would prefer you guys go for a manual setup uh, I would click first of all number zero because that's a Wi-Fi pineapple enter internet wait, um, internet I've collected three one line zero and now I need to just type in the IP address That would be saved, and now all you need to do is click C, uh, connect using save settings, and it should work. It should detect. So yeah, so all I had to do is sometimes it doesn't recognize the Wi-Fi pineapple, so all I had to just do is disconnect the Ethernet cable and plug it back in. So this is the problem I had um, when I actually got there. Um, little mini router so when I had to try to configure it with the internet I had to spend maybe more than three hours trying to configure it and learning how to do it and after well I actually found a proper method so yeah basically if it doesn't work try disconnecting the cable and plugging it back in the ethernet cable and if that doesn't work try configuring your ethernet on Kali and if that doesn't work I'm not too sure how to work it out. I'm really sorry to say that. So now it's recognized it and all it says is to browse to this link. So I'm just going to click open link address, minimize that, give it a second to load. Perfectly. I don't know if I'll be doing a business on this because I don't want to get banned or sued but um, yeah if you guys do want to try to if you just do need help just comment down below on this video and I'll try to get back to you and try to get steps for you and yeah guys I hope you guys did enjoy this video please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel don't forget to donate to my channel please as this would help my channel actually well I could carry on actually growing the channel and it would help me to buy more things and more well, like a review on my channel and yeah guys I hope you enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe as always this is blank.one change my name signing up peace